When it was first displayed publicly in 1935 at the New York Auto Show, the Cord 810 immediately took the public by storm. It looked like nothing that had come before it. It was the first car to have hidden headlights. It was the first car to have a petrol filler tank underneath a cap. It was the first American built and designed front wheel drive vehicle with independent front suspension. And as well as those, it had other features such as hidden door hinges, the hood had a rear hinge, uh, it had variable speed windshield wipers, and numerous other minor aspects to it which made the car just something completely new. In fact, many commentators since have said that the vehicle was in fact 30 years ahead of its time. The question remains, why is it that very few people have heard about the Cord at all? Well, sadly, not a huge number of the type were produced during 1935-1937 period. Basically what happened is that the car was put into production so quickly to fulfil initial orders that a lot of those initial purchases were actually doing some of the testing and refining of the design for the company. What that meant was that the vehicle wasn't actually as reliable as it could have, should have been, and because of the minor changes and fixes that were all continuing being required, the company simply couldn't keep up with production um, to meet the demand. Add that to the fact that all this was happening at the height of the Great Depression. You had a company trying to build vehicles on a relatively limited budget and slightly behind the eight ball when it came to having a design that was well proven, well tested and well designed and the inevitable happened. Sales couldn't meet demand, eventually the company was bought out and the non-profit making automotive section was effectively wound up. Which is sad because the vehicle is certainly an eye catcher and a stunner.